Uh, thank you guys so much what you do. Uh, for what you do transparency we lead with transparency transparency yes. is number one yes you guys love what you do we love what we do our agents love what they do can estimates change guys because sometimes patients believe oh now you're trying to upsell me can things change for the good or for the worse can they yes we just we just got a review dr mitch and, and i'll post it up we just got a review today and uh it was about you and it was about you and uh, so it, it does change it there's nothing like freehand surgery where you actually feel the bone or you know hey you know what the implant didn't get torque here i thought i was gonna get torque but i didn't get torque i need to place a longer implant or i need to move to another area because i want to do immediate loads and uh, that all changes so so we take whatever time is needed and when you're in the chair you're not being timed it's not like okay robert your your hour's over Yes. But you're halfway done. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's not like yes. that. You're the newest member of the team. Uh, you came to the group. You were already here with these doctors that are, are monsters at what they do. Uh, how does that make you feel? We have this conception, our, our patients do, mm -hmm. that a root canal is bad. Okay. Hmm. So, for example, that's now, a very good question. That's a yeah. very good question. Yeah, because yeah, we that, get that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. We do. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Welcome back to Supreme Nano Podcast Studio. You can be anywhere else in the world right now, but you're here with us. We appreciate that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, this podcast was meant for you, our patients. My wife and I are the owners of Supreme Nano Clinic. Listen, we're on Spotify and an Apple podcast, so you can rehear and revisit all your favorite episodes. If you have any questions, any concerns, email us. Send us a text message. That's what we're here for. Today, we have three of our doctors here from Supreme Dental. We have Dr. Michelle Fernanda. Fernanda Hi. Michelle. <laughs> we have Dr. Elias. Hello. And we have uh, the new sensation, Dr. Mitch. <laughs> Hello. Hi. If you haven't seen the video, you have to. PG-13. <laughs> uh, and today we're going to talk a little bit about, it's going to be like a dental salad. It's okay. going to be a little bit of everything. Normally okay. we focus on implants, we focus on root canals, we focus on this. We're going to have a little bit of everything, okay? And there's a lot of questions that we have from our patients and from our agents that speak to our patients. And one of one of the main questions that we got is that they keep on getting the question is when, when, a, when a doctor places an implant on a patient, okay? Then the patient want, says, well, go ahead and do me one implant here and one implant here, and then later on I wanna use it for an all on four. Why can it not be done? Okay, I'll, I'll take the question and, and I'll have, um, they just help us out with x-rays, so okay. it'll be a little visual. Oh, you gotta remember, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the audio. <laughs> La bota. Mm. So the, the thing about individual implants, the thing about uh, all on fours is that the, the implants that we use, they're, they're the same brand, same titanium, but their length and the way they're positioned is different, right? When we place an implant for an individual tooth, we're only replacing that one tooth. And usually that implant goes in one of the roots or where the root should be because it's only going to hang on to one tooth. When we do an... Uh, a full arch treatment we want six or four implants to support 12 teeth so we usually tend to use longer uh thicker implants that are going to be placed angled to to engage better bone right so probably that angled implant is going to take the space of three teeth so when and, and we also have to do bone reduction when we do all on force or the full arch treatment. So we have to remove that. So the, the implants that we place for full arch are gonna be deeper. The, t the implants that we place for individual teeth are gonna be a little bit higher. So w when, when people wanna do that, we, we run into problems because if we use the implants that are already there, we're gonna have a little prosthetic space and the prothesis are not gonna fit. So we must remove the old implants and start from scratch. It's like uh, building a house versus building uh, a tower, right? Mm -hmm. the, the the foundation from a house doesn't have to, be, has to be as deep, but from a tower, because we're gonna hang on to more structure, it has to be deeper. So mm -hmm. we can pretty much sum it up like that. 
Yeah, because mm-hmm. you're, you're kind of dividing the weight of everything in only a certain amount. That's in the other correct. way, it was either be a bridge or something individual. Mm-hmm. Okay, That's so correct. it makes sense. Hmm. So, for example, and now... That's a very good question. That's a yeah. very good question. Yeah, that's a yeah. question because yeah. we that, get that a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. We do. Now, now going to Dr. Michelle. Michelle Mitchell. Mitchell. That's why I call him Dr. Mitch. Because Rich. <laughs> Dr. Mitch is more easy. Yeah, like, <laughs> so Dr. Michelle, okay. we have this conception, mm-hmm. our, our patients do, mm-hmm. that a root canal is bad. Okay. People are scared of root canals mm-hmm. and they say, well, a uh, root canal, if I get it done, I'm going to get infections. Yes. Um, is that true? No, it's not true. Mm, I think the patients always talk about the experience before they have a root canal because many patients come here, they have a root canal in, an, in another office and then uh, tell me, I have a lot of pain, they do it in three, four visits, I was very afraid, it was terrible, I don't want root canals anymore. And then I explained that maybe in the, that office it's not the special specialist, mm-hmm. they do it, maybe it's a general dentist, and in a, it's not have the, um, uh, how can I say? Instruments? Technology. Yes, technology, technology instruments, yes. knowledge about the canals, or it's too hard and they don't um, want to um, go to the specialist in the USA and only the general do the root canal. And when they come here, it's very difficult to me because I explain and so many times they don't want a root canal anymore. But it's good to save our natural tooth always. It's the first option. If you don't have that option, yes, you can continue with an implant. But always it's better to keep your own tooth. Another question that I got. So patients feel that if I'm going to get six crowns, I need okay. six root canals. Okay. If I'm going to get 24 crowns, am I going to need 24 root canals? Mm-hmm. How, how do you determine if no. something needs a root canal mm-hmm. or not? Man, the first is to take an x-ray. X-ray, if you have an old crown, we need to take uh, out the, the old crown to see how it's your tooth. Does the surface, if they have a cavity, if we can clean it. Maybe it's not, um, it's not, uh, how can I, uh, We you don't need a root canal if you need a crown. It's not always that. Oh, first here, um, we always check the tooth. If the tooth is in in some good condition without a cavity, only put a crown. But if you have a cavity and we need to clean it and it's too close to the nerve, we need to do that root canal. When you mean it's too close to the nerve, means if you clean closer to the nerve, then you're going to hit the nerve. Yes. Or it's going to be extremely sensitive. Uh huh. And then they're going to feel it later on. Yes. And 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 when I'm when I'm close but not in the nerve. You're gonna feel sensitive to cold, to to hot beverage, when you maybe when you are mm, biting someone very hard, maybe you're gonna feel sensitive. That's why we think it's better to do the root canal and put the crown. But it's not always if you need six crowns, you need six root canals. It's not. That's just a. That just a myth. is. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. You know, I always hear when you drink hot or cold. Or when you drink sugar, what 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 does sugar have to do with anything? Uh, it's got sensitive in the in in the um, in if you have a cavity. When you have a cavity, okay. it's if even if you have a small cavity, maybe you feel with something sweet, you feel a little bit sensitive. That's like warning because you need to go to the dentist and check it if that cavity is only in the enamel or it's too deep. In it the enamel? Uh uh-huh, in the enamel. It's and if it's too deep, we need you need to do a root canal. But if it's not, it's only clean and put a filling. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, um we had some master classes here not too long ago and, and Dr. Elias was part of the master class. We had Dr. Michelle who was also part of the master class. Yes. And we were impressed with each and every one of you guys, but Michelle, uh mm-hmm. everybody was just at wow because her she really she, you could tell that she really loves what she does, 
which I believe you have to if you're a Rokina specialist, because I've heard it's the most boringest thing ever. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, <laughs> you'll see. It's, it, the it, assistants, yeah, the they assist don't want me. <laughs> the assistants are falling asleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, definitely. Um, you, you definitely love what you're doing. That's awesome. Yes, and I, and I love to help people. Because when you come here, um, uh, we all... We always look for the patient be safe, be happy. Maybe the pain we need to we um, how can I say you need to to have pain, but um, we need to to be like very. Um, como se dice? Como Relax. Probably more uh -huh. like discomfort. Yes. Uh huh. Not, not yes. pain. Probably discomfort. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. A little discomfort. Yeah, because it's it's we're pain free. <laughs> the pain is free. <laughs> the pain is free. <laughs> You're not gonna feel anything at any time. If you feel any pain, you raise your hand and she'll put yes, more novocaine in. But it's discomfort more than anything. And be relaxing here when I'm doing the root canal. Most of the patients fall asleep when I'm doing a root canal. It's not a joke. You can. That's a lot of reviews. There's yes. a lot of reviews saying that, and and it's very true. Something that she mentioned that a lot of patients have previous bad experiences. Yeah. Yes. And they don't want to do root canals. But it's not. Yeah. But it's not their fault, though. No, 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 no. It's no. not their yeah. fault. Oh. It's not their fault. And uh, us as restorative dentists, we send her a lot of a lot of root canals, yes. and we get that. Oh, I don't want to do a root canal because I had a root canal done 10, 15 years ago, and it was. The, the technology has gotten better. We have yes. specialists as well. That's yeah. all she does. Root canals, root canals, root canals, root canals. And it, they all say the same thing. I didn't feel a thing. I had a great experience. So, yes. yeah. So, it's very... That she, that she made a great, really yes. great point on that. We just, we just got a review, Dr. Mitch, and, and I'll post it up. We just got a review today. And uh, it was about you. And it was about you. Oh. And uh, it was somebody who said that they came in and they spoke to uh, Ernesto and uh, they decided to do a full mouth restoration 28 crowns and uh that they didn't feel a thing you did four, six rook canals i believe uh, okay. five one day one the okay. next day uh -huh. and i don't know i think his name was jerry i'm not sure uh it could, it could be wrong but and he said that you were very your customer service was very good and you were really knowledgeable so when you read those reviews when you see what patients say about you as a dentist, obviously, you went to school. Um, did you ever think that patients were going to be writing reviews about about you? Did you ever think that all this was going to be happening? Or what was going through your head when you were studying? Well, for me, it's, it's um, excited. I feel excited because uh, I do the things for help to people, okay, for search um, solutions for for day and when we have the when we explain the treatment with uh, dr michelle. Fernando, dr michelle <laughs> and tokaya yes is it's, it's with the truth is with the truth is for the best of the patients okay and so that is the most important for me and after that because sometimes the patient arrive here and in your face or in his his face um look scary a little scary a little scary. tension so yeah. mm -hmm. when we have uh, when we speak with with their with the true i explain the plane i explain the options the people feel a little more relaxed uh, i can see in their face so i think that is the most important mm -hmm. um because Probably one implant or one arm four, one root canal uh, can do every doctor, but mm -hmm. uh, do it with with the true, with with good um, faith. Uh -huh, faith. Uh, that is the the difference. That's very important, you know, mm -hmm. transparency. And yes. this patient actually also puts it on his review mm -hmm. that he was told that same game plan in the United States before mm -hmm. he came down and he didn't say anything and you told him exactly what it is and it says right there he did not try to upsell me means you did not try to sell him more rook canals than what he needed mm -hmm. um, sometimes things different because we have different technology perhaps than back home 
So perhaps we see other things that weren't seen. Yep. And we'll let you know and we'll explain to you why. But in this situation, it was very close to what this patient came for. So, um, no, that's that's uh, that's pretty amazing. You know what, George? If you could post a video of him doing push-ups, because I can't <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm looking at him, I can hear that. Wow. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that song it's crazy it's uh it's yeah it's, it's i can never hear that song anymore because that reminds me of mitch um <laughs> so guys um obviously you guys each and every one of you really loves what you guys do and you guys are looking mm -hmm. forward you're you're the newest member of the team uh you mm -hmm. came to the group you were already here with these doctors that are, are monsters at what they do uh how does that make you feel like you came in and i mean you were good but you came to like the major league baseball like you you came to like the yankees of <laughs> of dental here so first i i feel grateful yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. i feel grateful with all team because the first week was difficult for me for many things but with your help i feel very comfortable but the most important, I think, is the the motivation. When I see, for example, Dr. Elias uh, in surgery, for me, it's very excited because I think I can probably I can I can't do right now, but in the future I can do that uh, surgery or that procedure. So for me, it's very important. Um, his example, the example, all the team, his attitude. Um, how how they are speak with the patients, is, uh, explain the treatment, because that is the difference in um, in his work, in his quality. Mm -hmm. For example, Doctor Elias. Sometimes I I see he's is in surgery, but all the time look. Relax, <laughs> okay. It's a it's a difficult process, but he look relaxed. So for me, is is comfortable. Is he he look relaxed? I'm relaxed. E everything <laughs> is gonna be okay. Do, yes, yes okay. <laughs> I can do that. So that is the most important for me. Uh -huh. Okay, well, that's pretty yeah. good explanation. Your motivation. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're his motivation. <laughs> yes. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Now, have you ever seen a root canal that you're just like, how am I gonna do this? Yes, like, so many <laughs> times. <laughs> that you're just so like, many times. Why did I even do this? Like, yes. What do you do? Because eh. you don't. Nobody else has your back here. No. So for example, if he starts doing something, mm -hmm. and he's just like, I need a second opinion. He calls another implantologist yes. over. Yes. Same thing with Lee. Same thing with Doctor Spooky, Doctor Mitch, Alonzo, Alonzo, and you. I'm alone. <laughs> who does she call? The implant specialists are like, it's gonna be an implant. I I always mm, process everything, breathe. <laughs> I have too much concentration. See the X-ray, see the anatomy of the tooth, see the patient if it's too um, nervi nervous, nervous, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. nervous. Yeah. nervous. Uh, if if the patient is relaxed, I take my time. I always take my time. I always say to the patient, it's difficult. I want. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna be here. Everything is gonna be okay. And that's it. I only take my time and do it. The same I do the very easiest root canal and the most difficult is the same step. I always do the same, always. Which comes to my attention that mm -hmm. a lot of our patients, and there's a lot of reviews that say, mm -hmm. you know, Supreme did great work. Mm -hmm. You will wait a little bit longer. And this is why. Yes. Because it's hard I for us to just bring people in the team mm -hmm. and, and do a root canal in 15 minutes. Boom, 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 boom. You're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what comes with that? Yes. You know, what's going to come when you're back in New York, Florida, New York, uh, San Francisco, wherever you're from, Canada, and now you're just like, oh, my gosh, it's hurting. Now what's mm -hmm. going to happen? Oh, well, they only did it for 15 minutes. Yes. So we take whatever time is needed. Mm -hmm. And when you're in the chair, you're not being timed. It's not like, okay, Robert, your, your hour's over, yes. but you're halfway done. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yes. It's not like yes. that. You know, a cardiologist doesn't. 
a cardiologist can it be a surgery for two three hours or it could be eight hours long you know it just mm -hmm. depends sometimes when you guys are in there things change oh yeah always yes. always it, i i want to say something to to, to somebody uh, to, to somebody <laughs> <laughs> to all of our patients now. that Make a shirt. what <laughs> <laughs> it's different what i see in the x-ray in the city you yes. Need, yes. In, yes. Yes. The CT scan. And the, in the CT, and then when you open the tooth, or then you when you open the bone or something, everything change. Always. It's not like a um, recipe or yes. can it's I say. Okay. It's not like that. We always we need to be always prepared for everything and have everything always and do our best and that's we do here at Supreme Dental. Yeah. I've seen when you do surgery and mm -hmm. you're going to place 10 implants, but you have like 14 or 15 implants there because if you need another size, mm -hmm. you're not just going to leave the size you pick. You're going to change it to whatever size yes. it is. Of course. Mm -hmm. And until you go in there, you find out mm -hmm. like 100% what until it is. I feel it's, the it's bone. Like and then uh -huh. when she mentioned it's like we get a great idea, a great mm -hmm. idea with CBT scans, mm -hmm. with the x-rays. But once you're actually there, it can't change. Yes. And that's why, as you mentioned, like we have all the implants. We have a st we have a great stock of implants, and mm -hmm. we can pick and choose. Like oh, I don't like this one. Bring me another one, and we we place it in. And we're gonna we're not gonna be like, oh well, I only have this. I'm gonna put this. It's like no, I need this one, and, and we have it, and we we place it. You know what? In our assistants, our assistants are really good at what they do. Yeah. Yes. Like they have everything there and and more for the yes. same reason. Uh, and, uh, you know, big shout outs to them too. I yes. know they don't mm -hmm. get to be at the podcast as much, but mm -hmm. they make everything a lot faster and easier process for you. Very practical. And when you're in there, you want to be as calm as possible because yes. it's you against that tooth. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah. So now tell me, is there, has there been a time when you're in someone's mouth and all of a sudden planification game plan went out the window, like you said, until you get hit? Then it's when it when it gets real. Yeah, a it's lot, of, a lot of times, yeah. a lot of times. It, it comes especially with the patients that have infections or that we're gonna extract teeth. Uh, that's why guided surgery doesn't work, because guided surgery you're relying that everything is gonna be perfectly as planned. But if you need to place an implant somewhere else, your guide doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a lot of myth and uh, misunderstanding about guided surgery. And we were gonna do guided surgery, remember? Yeah, yeah. and um, I, I did guided surgery a, 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 long, a way back. I did guided surgery and I started noticing those problems where mid-surgery I would be like, I just wasted an hour designing the, sur designing the guide and I don't need it. I would just throw it out and just feel the bone better. Mm -hmm. So it, it does change it. There's nothing like freehand surgery where you actually feel the bone or, you know, hey, you know what? The implant didn't get torque here. I thought I was going to get torque, but I didn't get torque. I need to place a longer implant or I need to move to another area because I want to do immediate loads and it all changes. So, so yeah, we, we have to, it's a, a lot of experience comes into play as well. Oh, I've seen this before. Or, hey, you know what? I was, I was looking at Dr. Alonso surgery. This happened. He did this. Oh, I need to resolve it like this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of, uh, we have a great idea. We have a great, a great plan, but we always have a plan A, plan B, and plan C. <laughs> yes. For sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I want to talk about is just like when you guys go in there and, and the game plan changes, uh, great customer service is something that we have to, we have to be transparent we have to make sure we take our time. Yes. We got to make sure we, we have plan A, B, C, and D, and sometimes E and F. Mm -hmm. Can estimates change, guys? Because sometimes patients believe, oh, now you're trying to upsell me. Can things change for the good or for the worse? Can they? Yes. Yes, the yes. patients need to understand what is um, sometimes the, the treatment change. Uh, and the estimate change, but it's the best for for the patient. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, it's no, it's because I want change the you want the, more, the more money. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. no, yes, it's no, not it's, that. It's, it's the best for the patient. Mm -hmm. For example, um, in the extractions in mm -hmm. the root canal, when no is possible that Doctor Fernando uh -huh. change uh, save the tooth and. I said with the patient, no, it's possible to save your tooth, you need the extraction, and um, probably one implant. So the, the estimate change, and sometimes the patient, I want um, understand that 
that thing, and that's very important because it's the is the best uh, option for for the patient. I I want to say to our patients that when you come here, you need to be very open mind for all the the possible treatments. Maybe when I um, see the X-ray, I see the CBT scan, I see. I say, okay, we can save your tooth, when, but when I open, it's different. Maybe I cannot uh, clean it as well. I cannot look for the canals. I cannot find the canals, and that's uh, when the treatment change. I always explain to the patient, this tooth, it's not working anymore. You need to pull it out, and I always say, it's your decision because... They say in other office, they tell me that it's possible to save it. Why you cannot save it? Please, eh, I don't have money for an implant or in other situations. And I always eh, say the truth because if I can do the root canal, it's a bad root canal. It's not going to work. Maybe in six months, you're going to come again with an abscess, with an infection, and it's worse. And without and without bone to put to place an implant, that's why uh, you need to be open mind and understand that when we are telling you it's not working, it's not working anymore, and decide to take another decisions and another kind of treatments. Yes, yeah, it's very yes. true, and it's also uh, as you mentioned that it's not a one size fits all. Like mm-hmm. let's say you and your friend are both going to get full mouths, but why does she need this? To the two root canals why, why don't I because everybody's different and uh, and as you mentioned as well like treatments do change for the better of the patient we're not going to yeah. do something that we that we thought was the best but we see a better option while we're working and we're because we have to give patients a warranty of our work and we want to do the yes. best and we're not we're not afraid of telling telling the patient hey you know what this is better we need to do this mm-hmm. and, and it's, it's not just for us but it's better for the patient itself so how many oh, yeah. times has the patient came in for an all on four top and bottom with a thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen thousand dollar estimate and then you decide to say, Hey, uh-huh. we can save your teeth and just add two implants. Uh-huh. Yeah. And now it drops down to ten thousand, eleven thousand. Yeah. Yes. You know? And in in I mean it it goes both ways. We just try to do what's best possible. We actually had a patient yesterday that came in from LA and he's like, Oh, I want you to extract the four teeth in the bottom. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, I want you to place some implants. And I looked at his teeth, and they didn't move. They looked mm-hmm. perfect, no cavities. Uh, but he had trauma a couple of years ago, and he had two infections there. And I was like, hmm, I like, I can't, I can't do it, right? Technically, I can't do it, but it's not the best for him. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? Let me call the root canal specialist. Yes. Give she's gonna give you your opinion, because uh, we we want to save the teeth. I mean, saving teeth is better for the patient. Yes. It's always the best. Uh, always the best option. And we're we're doing the right thing. And uh, <coughs> but he was very convinced that he wanted them extracted. And yeah. we talked to him. And uh, and mm-hmm. yeah, and then he had the root canals done, and, and that was that. I say it all the time. If your if your foot hurts, you don't you don't cut your leg off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You just don't. You know, it, it doesn't work that way. And and mm-hmm. just to put it in a different perspective, guys. For example, when 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 we're talking about when we go in there, and a lot of times we got to change. A lot of times the person the patient's under sedation. Yes. And a lot of times we've added another implant oh, yeah. and we don't charge. Yeah, that's that's oh that's very important. And because because we, we mm-hmm. had to do it and, and then we couldn't wake him up, sir, sir, wake up, wake up. It's <laughs> we gonna be another <laughs> you know, eight hundred, twelve hundred dollars, you know. Uh-huh. We, we just do it and then we let them know. Yes. yes. And that's something from like from the dental part, the doctor part, that's easy for me to do, right? But I, uh, I want to thank you guys, uh, for you and Aida, for leaving that door open for us. Yeah. That we're, we're able to do that. And that is true. Let's say uh, we wanted to do, you know, a f- five implants and I need really need that sixth implant. Or I really need that extra bone graft. We're not going to wake you up and we're going to say, hey, you know what? Uh, we're going to charge you an extra for this and that because we need it during the surgery. If we need it, we use it. Uh, we're, um, mm-hmm. Us as doctors, we're great. You and Aida, you want the work to be perfect. You want the patient to be happy, and uh, I think that's that's fucking great. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and we talk great. about this when, when you go to a cardiologist, and for my, my for example, my dad, my dad had a heart surgery, mm-hmm. and they told me two of his arteries were were they needed stems, right? Okay. And then at the end, it became three. 
Mm-hmm. Just yeah. imagine if the only would have done two, and they would have been like, "Oh no, well you I'm paid only sorry. for two, so we need to reopen. We have to reopen them <laughs> up in a couple <laughs> <Yes>. months." <laughs> like no, he did no. what he had to do. Yes. Yes. And then it is what it is, and and he's he's the shuttle. So I mean, he's still he's still <laughs> his heart's <laughs> still shuttle. pounding. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, guys, I want to thank you guys so much. I know uh, some of you guys still have patience. Uh, thank you guys so much what you do. Uh, for what you do transparency we lead with transparency transparency yes. is number one yes. yes you guys love what you do we love what we do our agents love what they do um and we just want to let you guys know that uh we're here for you guys so any questions you guys have and when you guys come down if you guys do happen to wait a little bit longer it's for the best yes. and if maybe you need to stay an extra day it's for the best yes. it's not Maybe maybe we really like you, but we don't really <laughs> want you to stay another day. Sometimes, you know, uh, and Doctor Elias and and Doctor Mitch, Doctor Lonzo, Luis, you know, Doctor Michelle. Mm-hmm. They, we don't. I mean, they don't like staying till nine, ten o'clock at night. Maybe Luis yeah. does. You know, uh, <laughs> it's a workaholic. And, 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 and Eli, 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 Elias yeah. too. Like, it's yeah. it's kind of weird, but um, <laughs> but but guys, we're doing it for you guys. Yes. I mean, it's done for you guys, so yes. thank you so much for uh, for being part of uh, Supreme Dental Podcast Studio, thank powered you. by Supreme Dental guys, and just like our team, keep on smiling. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know let the beat sound in the house. Julie Mafia, last lady. Uh. I see you, uh.